Hello everyone, this is the Technodog channel. Today the comparison involves the Poco X3 and the Mi 10 Lite, which are packed with the most powerful features that can only be imagined in the mid-budget category. In this video, we're going to reveal all their secrets. In the description of the video, there are links to sites with favorable prices for the Poco X3 and the Mi 10 Lite. You can also specify their parameters there. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, like this video if it is useful for you, and share your opinion or comments in the comments. Frankly, among all smartphones of the Mi series, the Mi 10 Lite version looks the most budgetary. First of all, because of the plastic frame. Of course, plastic is a practical material, but for example, they did not save on this element in the Mi Note 10 Lite by installing a decent metal frame. Xiaomi does not officially clarify the material of the cover. However, this was done by the good guys from Corning, who on their website added the Mi 10 Lite to the list of the smartphones with Gorilla Glass 5. It is here both in front and behind. The front side of the Mi 10 Lite turned out to be somewhat inconspicuous. A teardrop-shaped cutout for the front facing, relatively wide fields around the screen, Compared to other budget smartphones, it is distinguished only by the colorful AMOLED matrix. Below the screen of the Mi 10 Lite, there is a modern, fast enough optical fingerprint scanner. Above, we see a secondary microphone, an audio output, and an infrared transmitter. There is a strange looking earpiece at the junction of the display and the frame. It has a long grill, but the holes actually take up only the left third, and everything else is just an imitation. What was it done for? On the bottom edge of the smartphone, there is a USB-C connector for charging and a dual tray for SIM cards without a combined cell for the USB flash drive. But it's hard to find disadvantages in the dimensions of the Mi 10 Lite. It is very thin, less than 8 millimeters, and the weight does not exceed the critical mark of 200 grams. By comparison, the Poco X3 is noticeably wider, 1.5 millimeters thicker, and over 20 grams heavier. However, it features certified IP53 water and dust resistance, micro SD card support, and a metal frame. The Poco X3 also boasts stereo speakers, a dotted cutout for the front, and an LED notification indicator. The polycarbonate cover has an original design that combines gloss and texture, not to mention the aggressive block of the main cameras. The Poco X3 has a fingerprint scanner built into the power button. The Poco X3 screen, diagonal, is 6.67 inches, 1 over 10 more than the Mi 10 Lite. The protective glass is also Gorilla Glass 5. The liquid crystal matrix IPS with a resolution of full HD+, supports image refresh up to 120 Hz, as well as HDR10 technology, which allows you to enjoy movies and TV shows at the highest quality. You can set one of three color rendering modes, saturated, standard, or automatic. As usual, it's a dynamic smartphone in terms of battery power. At 120Hz, the Poco x 3 screen works in the interface and some compatible applications, while in other cases, it seamlessly switches to the standard 60Hz. The touch is very responsive, responding in about 4 milliseconds. The gamers will appreciate it. The advantage of the Mi 10 Lite is its lusher AMOLED matrix, which provides excellent levels of brightness and contrast. The color scheme settings are as flexible as possible. Each of the three modes has a color temperature adjustment and a range of shades. If suddenly this is not enough for you, there are additional presets like P3, sRGB in advanced settings, and a bunch of all kinds of manual adjustment sliders like gamma, contrast, saturation, etc. There are too many settings, to be honest. Fortunately, for those who accidentally change too much, there is a saving button, Restore Default Settings. The Mi 10 Lite screen is also capable of displaying HDR content from YouTube and Netflix. Its only limitation is the standard 60Hz image refresh rate, but the Xiaomi already offers the maximum for its price. Both smartphones run Android 10 right out of the box. In general, all Xiaomi smartphones use the same MIUI interface. There may be minor specific differences sometimes, but in general the system is universal, with the same basic functionality. 
For example, thanks to the AMOLED matrix, the Mi 10 Lite smartphone supports continuous screen illumination, like the always-on display feature which allows you to customize its style to your liking. In this mode, the edges of the display can glow in different colors to indicate notifications. These light notifications are not easy to see from the side, since the screen is completely flat and does not bend to the edges, but at least you will not have a reason to put your smartphone face down. The fingerprint scanner under the display and the front camera with face recognition are responsible for secure access to the Mi 10 Lite's interface. The animation of the fingerprint scanner can also be changed for yourself. Gesture control in MIUI lags slightly behind what is implemented in pure Android 10 in terms of convenience. However, the Xiaomi has significantly improved the dark theme and integrated many security features into the interface. For example, the blacklist, antivirus, traffic control, power consumption, and permissions for installed applications, etc. The POCO X3 is pretty much the same. Only animations are better optimized for high hertz and there is no constant backlighting so as not to spoil the IPS matrix. The POCO X3 cameras have slightly more megapixels than the Mi 10 Lite offers. The main Sony IMX682 sensor has a resolution of 64 megapixels, supports night mode and 2x digital zoom. The second main camera is a 13 megapixel ultra-wide. The quartet is complemented by a macro camera with autofocus and a depth sensor. Both modules are 2 megapixels. The front camera with fixed focus allows you to take pictures with a resolution of up to 20 megapixels. The POCO X3 camera app has HDR mode, shutter speed and ISO adjustment, but you cannot adjust the resolution and frame format when saving. I mean, by default, the main camera shoots with a resolution of 16 megapixels and only, and 64 are included as an option. There are no immediate options. When shooting at maximum resolution, each frame will weigh about 30 megabytes, and the camera needs a couple of seconds to save it. Best video recording quality is 4K, 30fps, or Full HD, 60ks. The Mi 10 Lite has a slightly weaker resolution on all important cameras than the POCO X3. The front camera is 16 megapixels, which, by the way, is on a par with the POCO M2 Pro and the Mi Note 10 Lite. The ultra-wide angle camera is 8 megapixels and the main camera is 48. Only the macro camera of the Mi 10 Lite can be slightly more useful because it has autofocus. It's a trifle, but a nice one. There are no special differences in the camera system application because both smartphones work under the same interface. The Mi 10 Lite is significantly ahead of many competitors in terms of performance. The smartphone is powered by a modern 7nm Snapdragon 765G chipset. This is one of the most affordable options with a built-in 5G modem. Its central processor has a OnePlus OnePlus 6 configuration in which the clock speed of the leading core reaches 2.4 GHz. The graphics chip is called Adreno 620. Based on the synthetic processor benchmarks, Xiaomi has done a good job of optimizing the Mi 10 Lite because it has left behind all other smartphones with the identical S765G chipset, like the LG Velvet, the Motorola Edge, the Reno 3 Pro and the Galaxy A51 on the alternative Exynos 980. The advantage is minimal, but it is there. In graphics tests, the Mi 10 Lite is on par with the Reno 3 Pro, which wins and loses a few points here and there. In turn, the POCO X3 is equipped with the most powerful Snapdragon 700 series 4G processor. It is only 100 MHz slower than the Mi 10 Lite. A rather fast Adreno 618 chip with a frequency of up to 800 megahertz is also responsible for graphics processing, and I must say that Xiaomi did not cheat. Calling the POCO X3 processor the most powerful, it simply has no worthy rivals in the mid-budget category other than the Mi 10 Lite. But here you have to choose, either 5G or AMOLED, or 120 hertz, advanced cooling and support for flash drives. In Russia, the Mi 10 Lite and the POCO X3 are officially available in two versions, with 6 to 64 gigabytes and 6 to 128 gigabytes in memory. Both smartphones work on Russian 4G networks, offer NFC, dual-band Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 5. 
Navigation is possible through all popular satellite systems, but the Mi-10 Lite turned out to be slightly better again thanks to the support of cellular communication of the fifth generation, which is not yet known when it will be launched in Russia. Among inexpensive smartphones with 5G, the Mi-10 Lite is probably the most modest battery with a capacity of only 4160 mAh. However, this does not correlate with its astounding battery life as the Mi 10 Lite lasts several hours longer than its direct competitors. The Galaxy A51, LG Velvet, Moto G, and Moto Edge. Watching a looped video drains the battery of the Mi 10 Lite in about 21 hours, and surfing the web in 15 hours. The same goes for calls over 3G. The Mi 10 Lite demonstrates some kind of inexplicable vitality and lets you talk for 26.5 hours. The smartphone comes with a medium power adapter, 20W, which fully recharges the Mi 10 Lite in 75 minutes. After half an hour on charging, the battery indicator shows 55%. In its class, the Mi 10 Lite charges the fastest among only the available smartphones with 5G. The Poco X3 is technically in a different category. Its battery capacity is a whopping 1000 mAh more and its charging is 13 watts more powerful. But in practice, there is not much difference with the Mi 10 Lite. The battery recharges at a similar rate, although the Xiaomi promises 62% in half an hour and 100% in 65 minutes. But that's in theory. During calls, the Poco X3 is able to hold out about 33 hours and more than 14 hours when watching videos. This is a reason to think about when another ad motivates you to overpay for a slightly more powerful battery or charging. Maybe they are there just so that the smartphone works no worse than others, but we think that it is much better. Here are some negative and positive reviews about these smartphones. Let's see what ordinary users have to say. Negatives. The Poco X3. 1. The smartphone is smart enough for normal use, but still weak for gaming. 2. Any banking and financial transactions are best done through Samsung phones. They are safer. 3. This is the only way to drain the battery. Even if I don't use my phone, it still sits down on its own. Really annoying. The Mi 10 Lite 1. Does anyone else have a headache from this phone? I enabled flicker suppression in display settings, but didn't help. 2. The standard SMS application. It is not possible to pin the selected dialogue to the top. I've already tried everything. 3. The dark theme is poorly implemented. The positive. The Poco X3. 1. In my opinion, this is the best phone of 2020. Affordable, 120Hz screen, powerful Snapdragon processor. 2. No heat at all under load. The cooling system is super. 3. The Poco X3 offers the coolest features at the lowest price. 4. This is a really cool phone with a smooth interface, decent cameras, and a luscious screen. The Mi 10 Lite. 1. The sound is quite loud and good enough for a single speaker. 2. There are two advanced power-saving modes. 3. High-quality AMOLED screen and support for 5G cellular networks. 4. More modern processor. Better stabilization during video recording. Here's the Techno Arena channel's verdict. The fundamental advantages of the Mi 10 Lite are its excellent AMOLED display, powerful chipset with 5G modem and amazing battery life. FM radio, infrared transmitter, capacious memory, and multifunctional MIUI interface also became pleasant bonuses. For this, you can accept weak cameras without a telephoto lens and a SIM tray without a memory card slot. As for the Poco X3, it attracts attention with an incredibly low price tag, with almost equal performance. It also has a new gaming processor, a screen with an increased refresh rate of 120Hz, the cameras have more megapixels, stereo speakers, and even flash drives are supported. Isn't it a perfect set? What do you think of these smartphones? Share your opinion in the comments. If you like the comparison, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to turn on notifications through the bell. In the description, you will find links to sites with the best prices for the Poco X3 and the Mi 10 Lite. There are also tables with their technical characteristics. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the new videos on the Technodog channel.